Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Colorado with the Mile High Auditor. As he shows us his lack of understanding of forum doctrine, the Constitution, and, well, generally everything else that he encounters. So let's go ahead and uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy laughing at this, well, complete and total moron. Man, I need to address a few things about our constitutional rights and a few things about all these trolls around here and around the country that don't like being on camera in a public space. Well, stay your ass at home. Don't go to the Social Security office. Don't go to the food stamp office. Don't get no government benefits. Don't go to any government buildings. How about new? Yeah, how about you learn the lesson that other frauditors have been learning lately about uh, filming in specific spots like how Chris Cordova uh, well got his ass in trouble because of the Social Security office issue. Yeah, take a lesson from them and go find softer targets, you freaking moron. Or better yet, why don't you go get yourself an education and a real job? That way you won't... Uh, be made fun of so much because this video is nothing but you being completely butthurt and ignorant about, well, everything. Because if you're in a government building, I can film you with or without your consent. Colorado is a one party consent state. So is the United States of America. It's a one party consent country, meaning that as long as I know I'm recording you, you don't, I don't need your consent. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Oh, wow, dude. Uh, you really need to brush up on uh, your research skills because, well, the entirety of the United States is not a one-party consent nation. It's a mixture of the two throughout the country, and you really, really need to look this crap up. Get out of your bubble and learn something, dude. I don't need your consent at all. So stay out of the public if you don't want to be recorded. Also... Uh, let's address people talking about public forums. Anything that's publicly accessible to the public is a traditional public forum. There is no such thing as limited public forums, period. It's a traditional public forum. Well, let me correct that. There is a such thing as limited public forums. They're called private businesses. They're limited public forums. If they don't want you recording in there, they have a right to kick you out. But let's address this as well. You don't want to be on my channel. Wow. Uh, yeah, I can understand why you don't accept the public forum doctrine as, well, an irrefutable fact at this point, considering even a lot of your fellow auditors have accepted the fact that it does exist, but still defy it at every chance they get. Hell, just ask Chris Cordova about that. Hell, why don't you look it up yourself and do uh, the, your due diligence and research? Oh, wait, you don't have enough gray matter between your ears to be able to accomplish that anyway. <laughs> Never mind. Continue on. You don't want to. You, you, you don't want your face being shown all over Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat. But do you know? building you in i can go and request the camera footage of that government building and get it within three days and post it online and see everybody that's walking in and out of that building so what's the difference between my camera and their cameras i can do the same thing with their cameras 
their cameras are not private. I can get that footage. I choose to use my camera for my safety. Well, the security footage that you're referring to, you dumbass frauditor, is mainly there for the security of the building. And yeah, sure, you can request that footage, but they're not going to post it to YouTube. You're the one who's going to post it to YouTube to try to make a profit off of it. Thus, that's, that is the main difference, is the profit issues right there. Profit versus security. There's too many, like, if you don't like the Constitution, freedom of the press, freedom of speech, freedom to assemble. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the very last element of the First Amendment is to be able to go inside a government building and check on our government. And that's what we do. We check on our government. Let, let me tell you guys something. I'm not there to film you. I'm not there to film you. But if you talk to me, you will be filmed. If I pan towards you, oh well. But I'm not there intentionally to film you. I'm there to check up on my government. So uh, if you don't like it, like I said, stay home. Uh, uh, dude, uh, you really need to study up on what the Constitution actually says because I have a feeling that you are quite illiterate and just uh, spewing off what other frauditors tell you. Because the First Amendment does not say that you have the absolute right to go into a government building and harass the lower level employees. What it does say is that you can redress your government, which does not mean to go harass the lower level employees. Basically, what that means is you get to try to correct the issue. And how do you correct an issue? You go to the source. You go to the government officials themselves that can do something about it. Not the lower level ones that, well, work for the government that can't do anything at all, but the people in charge. Otherwise, net, hell, move to North Korea. I'll help you pack. I'll definitely help you pack. You don't got to live in this great country we call you, United States of America. You know, this country has become tyrannical. They're slowly eroding our rights. One of them is the freedom of the press. You know, they got so many government buildings says, oh, get in touch with our media relations before you can come in here and film. Let me tell you guys something. The First Amendment says Congress shall make no law, none, no law. Respecting the establishment of or abridging the freedom of press. There's no law. None. Oh my goodness. Uh, did you ever get all of that freaking wrong? You got so many words mixed up in that uh, statement right there. It is freaking ridiculous. Ridiculous. You just need to sit down and actually look at what the Constitution actually says and uh, understand what freedom of the press means, considering it does not mean that you have more rights than anybody else. Then there's the issue of North Korea. Uh, you're not going to be able to get there very easily anyway. I mean, you got the uh, border checkpoints at China and South Korea, and well, North Korea is like a fortress. They're not going to just let anybody walk right in there, like uh, crossing the border between Germany and France. No, that's not how it works because there are landmines all over the place and the parts that uh, are uh, accessible. The North Korean soldiers might just turn you away if you're lucky, shoot you if you're unlucky. So it's not uh, really all that surprising that you think it's that easy to get into North Korea to begin with because, well, number one, you've proven that you don't do any research. Number two, it, uh, it seems like you are uh, semi-illiterate or uh, have a severe reading comprehension issue. I mean, that much is clear. And you suffer from the Dunning-Kruger effect, which basically means you are overconfident about your knowledge and tend to overestimate, well, your ability to use any knowledge that you have, ma making you think that you know everything. And, uh, well, come to find out, you don't know shit. It ain't no, there's no, there's no 
oh, you got freedom of press unless, you know, it's none of that. None of that. It don't say that. It just says free press, period. Free press. Just straight free press. Nothing else. Free press. That's it. So, I mean, if you guys want to sit up there and ridicule me, criticize me, troll me, lick my shoes up, that's fine with me. That's cool with me. You know, I remember back whenever I first uh, encountered your channel and I uh, presented that uh, video of you on the construction site and you had the comments turned on. That is until I left a link in my description straight to your channel. And well, you shut down the comments very fast, which tells me that you are incapable of handling criticism and therefore you are incapable of learning anything whatsoever. So in conclusion, you prefer to remain ignorant on all the subjects, despite everybody pointing out to you that how wrong you are. Well, that just goes to show how closed-minded you are and pathetically uh, educated you are going to be for the rest of your life. So I really don't foresee any good job prospects for you outside of, uh, well, this YouTube gig, and that's not going to last forever. So I guess as a result of your own ignorance and stupidity and uh, inability to comprehend simple facts like this, you will be on the dole for the rest of your life. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?